Our team is constantly working on new features, a better usability and more safety. With our partner Mailvelop, we now offer a possibility to send and receive all your mails with end-to-end -end encryption. You can also encrypt infologs and thereby protect them from unauthorized access. Of course, I could still send my data uncoded, but it's no news that others are interested in our information. Companies that send advertising, secret services, hackers or perhaps your main competitors. We close every single envelope. Nobody would ever show his tax declaration to all his neighbors and in case we leave we close the front door. Of course we have to open it again later and it could take us some seconds, but usually our privacy is worth it. Emails, however, are like postcards. Everyone that gets hold of them is able to read the content. If you send sensitive customer data, internal project information or love letters, it's really worth thinking about encryption. To encode and decode data, we use PGP. PGP is an end-to-end -end encryption program. Your data is securely encrypted by the sender and will only be decoded by the correct recipient of your mail. Using PGP, Sender and receiver never use the same key. This concept is called asymmetric encryption and it makes PGP much safer than other encoding options. Every user has a public key that he shares with business partners as well as clients or friends. I can also upload my public key to a key server, where everyone will be able to find it. In addition, there's a private key. Nobody but you knows your private key. You never give it to anyone else and it will never be sent via email. In case I want to send a safe mail, I first encode it with the public key of the recipient that I got from a key server or that he already sent me via email. The recipient then decodes my email via his private key that nobody else knows. No key will be sent. Therefore, this mail can only be decoded via the compatible private key. Initially, we showed why encryption can be important and how it works. Now we'll have a closer look at how to create encrypted mails with eGroupware and Mailvelope. Step 1 shows how to install the Mailvelop plugin. As usual, I click on Compose. I then choose the new lock icon on the left hand side. As there is still no plugin installed, an installation help box appears. Just go to mailvelop.com or click on our Install button and then choose the relevant plugin for Firefox or Chrome, depending on your browser. As soon as you added the plugin, a small lock icon appears in top right corner. In your Mailvelope window you now click on Options and then select List of Mail Providers. During installation it is important to add your domain to this list. The exact name of it can be found in our help box. Furthermore, please activate the API which is the programming interface. Now close your mail window once and open it again via Compose. Thereby you automatically reach Mailvelope's key management. Here you can create new keys or import existing ones. If I already have a key for another browser, for example, I import it here. To do so, I import the relevant file or fill in the key's plain text via copy and paste. To create a new key, please enter your name and email address and then choose your own password. The generation of your key could take some minutes, depending on different parameters. Afterwards, please select Close in top right corner. It's useful to allow eGroupware to save your public key in the address book to make it available to your colleagues. To write an encrypted mail, I now select Compose and then click on the lock icon. It is essential that you already saved the recipient's public key before. In case you didn't, eGroupware reminds you of it. The recipient then decodes your mail via his private password. Therefore, it is really important to always remember it or note it down and keep it in a safe place. As the recipient of an encoded mail, you just fill in your password and thereby decode it. The answer to an encrypted mail will also automatically be encoded. You can deactivate that if needed. Of course, your mails then won't be as safe as before. The second application of PGP encryption in eGroupware is InfoLog. You manage sensitive data like personal files, technical specifications, passwords or perhaps works committee information. We now provide protection from unauthorized external and internal access. In case I create an infolog with my login credentials, for example, but don't want the IT department to read it, I just select the little log icon. If I save an infolog for several persons, it's important that I've already saved all participants' keys. Those keys are saved in eGroupware's address book, but we'll also remind you if a key is missing. Of course, you can also encrypt existing infologs. Encoded mails can be saved as encoded infologs too. Another useful feature using encoded infologs is our decoded preview. 
Therefore, please hover above the relevant entry and fill in your password. The decoded preview makes your work on Infolox even more effective. To close our tutorial, we've got two frequently asked questions. What exactly will be encrypted? Subject and sender or recipient will never be encoded, only a mail's content. When will attachments be encoded? It depends on where you attach them. If you add them via eGroupware in the upper part, it won't be encrypted. If you attach them inside of the encrypted area of your mail, it will be encoded as well. We're at the end of our tutorial and you learned how to use mails and infologs even safer.